Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a full phase of all new to me Clinique. I opened up everything, got all the boxes everywhere, just because I didn't want you guys to go through me opening up everything and taking ages. I'm gonna try the Clinique Intense Moisture Surge Cream, which I am excited about because I never buy any skincare for, from Clinique. Clinique? from Clinique, but um, I read the ingredients and this does not seem like a bad situation. So I'm happy about this purchase. And about the makeup, I haven't bought Clinique makeup in years. It's one of those brands that it's like your first brand when you're trying something that's not drugstore, you know, like it's been around for ages and I'm sure they have some good products because they've been around for ages for a reason, so. Let's get started. I had to restart the video because I could not get this open and it took me a while so I had to pause it and start again. So this is the foundation. My hands are all like, let me clean my hands. This, don't worry guys, the couch is the towel couch and we wash it, so whatever. Where's my towel? Here's my towel. Anyways, this is the even better clinical serum foundation with SPF 20 in the shade um, CN28 Ivory. I am never the shade Ivory, but this looks dark enough. So let's see how this works. Um, you guys, yesterday I realized that my two last videos were over 40 minutes long. And I was like, okay, I need to speed things up somehow. So that's why I opened up all the boxes so that I wouldn't unbox everything with you guys. I wonder if you guys, I someone commented, which I was very happy about, that they loved my one brand review videos. And I mean, there's only so many that I can do like one brand, you know, cause I can't buy everything from every brand, but I still have some, like a lineup of brands that I'm trying and I keep getting um, some packages. I'm like embarrassed to admit that I'm like still buying makeup. It's ridiculous cause I just have so much. But it's like most of the makeup that um, I'm doing a full, fa full face of is new. Um, and I do it for you guys, like mostly, you know, because I don't need that much makeup. I just do it so that I can try it on camera for you guys. And the point of doing a one brand review video is just if you're like roaming around Sephora and you're like, oh, like, I wonder what's good from this brand or I wonder, like, if this brand has any good product products and just kind of giving you guys, like, uh, an insight into different brands just so that you make smarter choices for yourself when you're purchasing and that's why I watch reviews because I don't want to spend my money on things I'm probably not going to like. So... This is what the foundation looks like up close. Mm, to me, it looks, let me see. It doesn't look bad. Um, I don't know, you guys, I need to, I need to keep doing my makeup and all. I'll give you the lowdown on the foundation in a little bit. I just, the foundation sometimes looks different when you just first apply it. And then once it sets, it kind of looks, um, yeah, different. So I always clean my lips. I hate having foundation on my lips. So I'm gonna prep my lips with the Chubby Stick, which is in the shade 02 Whole Lot of Honey. Um, and I'm prepping with this one because I have this, I have bought this before and I know they're very moisturizing. I love them and I really wanted to get this shade in Whole Lot of Honey because I love like brownie nudes. I really like this color. I feel like I've had it before. I'm not sure, but I really like this kind of color and I hadn't tried it like this new one before. Um, This is gonna go in my purse. It, I just love easy to apply lipsticks that you don't have to be like super careful about like the little line and it just like, I'm not like even looking at myself and I'm just <laughs> applying this all over my lips. But anyways, I'm gonna do, uh, oh, Concealer, yeah, concealer. I need concealer. This is the even better all over concealer eraser. And this is in the shade CN28 Ivory. So I guess they're matching. Yes, they are matching CN28 Ivory. I like that. 
that they have a matching foundation. This is a cute spoolie, not spoolie, applicator. Um, I like that they have a matching foundation with the concealer because that makes it so much easier. I don't even know if I realized that when I bought it. Um, but that's just genius and it's so simple. Like, I don't know who came up with that, but I always thought like, why don't they just make concealers that match the shade of the foundation, you know? But anyways, um, it's it's also like some people like to get concealers that are lighter than their um, foundation. I do like my concealer to be a little lighter, but not too much. I don't like to brighten up like this area too much so that it looks fake, like you're wearing a ton of makeup. And my goal is, I mean, there's days that my goal is to look like I'm just like looking flawless with like a tiny bit of makeup. And then there's other days that like, I try to make my face look very like easy, no makeup on. And then like, I go a little wild on the eyes with like a lot of mascara and stuff. But that's just when I'm in the mood. Most days I apply very little makeup. Um, but I had a time where I would apply makeup on. I put makeup on every single day. Like not a bunch of it because I've never been a fan of how that looks on me. Just on me. But um, nowadays I'm applying skincare all day, to be honest. I'm like... Um, <sighs> I'll do like a ton of masks a day. It's a little ridiculous, but sorry. That's just the truth. And some people might think it's too much and it's excessive. <laughs> but my boyfriend just laughs at me because he just thinks I'm nuts for doing like one mask and then after the other one and another one. But I, there's a way of doing your masks. I'm gonna add browser first. Oops. Um. For me, there's a way of doing your masks. Like, I haven't talked about skincare a lot here, which is called Your Skin Girl, and I should talk more about skincare because that's what I'm, like, very passionate about, but also makeup, but mostly skincare. Anyways, this is a beautiful compact. This is the bronzer in the shade, true bronzer in the shade 02 Sunkist. I'm never the lightest shade, but I'm, I'm like, kind of in the middle. Um... Yeah, kind of in the middle. I'm gonna tap it because I don't know how pigmented this is. All right, not too shabby. Mm -hmm. Anyways, uh, the thing that I was telling you guys about, oh, that, this is gonna get my little hairs wild. I know it always happens. <laughs> Sorry, I keep getting off track. What I was saying about the mask is that I, layer my masks not as in i put one on top of each other more like i mean like i would do one mask first for like purging the pores and uh cleaning out like that skin cells maybe something that's a little abrasive but like very thinly abrasive like i'm not talking about those harsh horrible scrubs that you should never use in your face um or I use like something with an AHA, BHA, PHA, like an, uh, an exfoliant that is um, not physical, it's a uh, chemical exfoliant. So I'll use that first. And then I'll use like a brightening mask, you know, something to like brighten up the skin. And then I'll finish up my mask situation with something that's like a moisturizing cocoon. You know, like something that will be really moisturizing. That's how I like to finish up my my masking days. But I'm doing masks almost every day, like sheet masks. I just make sure that the sheet masks that I buy have good ingredients because there's some out there that are just literally like water. Some don't even have glycerin that is like moistri moisturizing, but like some of them are literally useless. <sighs> But that's that's the thing with skincare. You have to be like really like diligent about looking at the ingredients and uh, what you put on your skin really matters, in my opinion. Of course, we all have issues with our skin. Doesn't matter how much we take care of it. Like 
will get the occasional pimple. Some of us will have rosacea, acne, like whatever. That doesn't mean you don't take care of your skin. I know a lot of people take care of their skin and they still have issues with their skin. And that could be hormonal or um, allergies, like whatever it is. Um, but at least we can try to make the best of it and like have the best skin that is possible to ourselves, like to us. We don't need to have perfect skin obviously i'm not saying that and that's not my goal with skincare my goal with skincare is more to just uh, i find that skincare is very relaxing and it's just like such a good way to love yourself um it's like therapy for me um my goal with skincare is to just enjoy it and um like feed my skin as if i was feeding my body that's how I look at it, like how I would drink water and eat vegetables and whatever. That's what I like like to layer on my skin as if I was feeding my skin. Anyways, these are the blushes. I got, I'm going to swatch them for you guys. Oh, whoops. Let's see. Just in case you want to buy a Clinique blush. This is Black Honey Pop. So this matches my, this thing, my chubby stick. It's black honey, a oh, whole lot of honey, but they look so similar. So this would be perfect for a monochromatic look. So that's the shade, whole lot of, that's the shade black honey pop. Then we're gonna go in with Heather pop. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is much lighter. Or maybe I just grabbed that. No, it is much lighter and a lot cooler. I love mixing my blushes. I think it looks super cute i i feel like it gives dimension to the face this is ginger pop and i just like ruined it with my fingernail anyways this is ginger pop okay that's more of a peachy tone and finally rosy pop I'm trying not to like stick my fingernails in them i'm so ocd about not having like fingernail stuck in my stuff so these are the four blushes and i think i'm gonna layer i'm definitely wearing this one i think i'm gonna layer it with this one actually if i remember which one's which so anyways these are the blushes i like the texture that it feels like a very very soft nice texture i'm just hoping not to get blush all over me too um i haven't done my nose and every time I do my nose on camera, like I try to contour my nose a little bit, it looks worse. I don't know why. In person, it doesn't. Oh, oh okay, okay, got it. In person, it doesn't, but when I try to do it on camera, for some reason, it makes my nose look odd. So let's see. Let's try it this time. Always do your lines as close as possible. If you separate the lines too much, you will have the opposite effect and you will just widen your nose. And for some reason, that's what I feel like this does in camera. It widens up my nose. Why? I do this all the time and it looks perfectly fine in person. I'm not complaining about my lighting anymore because I, I think the first videos that I had, all I did, well, I didn't, I just mentioned it, but I always mentioned how bad my lighting was. And if you can see in the back, I just have this little ring light and this other one on the side, which probably is not doing anything. Um, so I'm pretty much using natural lighting, which I know is great, but um, having better lighting would help. So I really want to talk to you guys more about skincare. So far, I'm liking my face with this clinic situation. I haven't added the blush, so let's go with the blush. I'm like talking about everything except for the makeup. We're gonna go in with the Black Honey Pop. Yes, Black Honey, come to me. I always try to go up with my blush all the way up here. Mm-hmm. I'm going all the way up here. Try not to put your blush on too low. That will just make your cheeks look like they're droopy. I even like to go up a little bit. I saw um, Michelle Fawn do this, that going almost under your eye. 
and I think it looks really cute when you do that. It looks like you naturally got sunburned. A little bit on the nose and always adding some to the forehead where you would naturally burn if you were out in the sun. And I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of the other pink one. Oopsies. A tiny bit of the other pink one because I feel like I've already added too much. So, not too much. I love blush. I love adding a lot of blush, but for some people it might be too much. But that's the cool thing about makeup, you guys. You can do your makeup however you want. There's no rules. Of course, there are ways to get like a better look with your makeup, but it all depends on what you like. Some people love super heavy makeup and they look amazing with it. And I just feel super weird with like very heavy makeup. I don't feel like myself. I feel weird. Um, so to each their own but like the tips that i give you guys are obviously not new they're not like i made them up i've stolen them from watching a lot of youtube videos <laughs> and makeup artists and all of that jazz um but i just want my channel to be i'm like talking today a lot like i keep talking i'm talking i'm like all over the place so anyways <laughs> let's talk about the makeup so far, I love how the complexion is looking. I like how the foundation set down on my skin. Like, I like how it's sitting on my skin. Um, no complaints so far. The concealer has increased. Um, I'm liking it. Yeah, I see myself using this makeup more and more. That's always my wish that whatever makeup I am trying uh, for you guys on camera will be useful to me or at least to someone if I give it to someone else, you know? Like, I, I'm always hoping that the makeup won't be crappy and useless. This is the Clinique, oh, this is in white, quick liner for brows in the shade Soft Brown. I'm usually a soft brown or a taupe. And I feel like I have foundation all over my brows because you can barely see them. All right. Ah, oh, the pencil, the eyebrow pencil. I am so picky with eyebrow pencils. Okay, okay, okay. I like where this is going. All right, this is gliding on smoothly, which is great. I am liking this. I used to do my eyebrows a little bit more exaggerated, but now I feel like the more I look like myself, the more comfortable I feel. Yeah, this is a good eyebrow pencil, you guys. I feel like their light is like lowering. Like I feel like it's getting darker in here. It's probably my phone. Oh God. Oh, I'm sorry, you guys. I need to check on that because um sometimes the camera like i can see the screen and it's like really bright and there's other times when it just looks darker and i have no idea why that happens no idea and i'm getting a call i should have put my phone on airplane mode oh god you guys i am definitely not your perfect youtuber at all <laughs> like at all but I've been wanting to do this for a long time. I find that like, I feel like it's my calling and I'm not talking just about being a YouTuber. I'm like, just like, um, having like conversations with people, you know, like not, not that quick content where you just don't like click with other people. Just like, I feel like my calling is kind of like helping other people out. I studied, well, I didn't finish my, actual career that I went to Boston to study. I was gonna, stu I was studying business management and hospitality. And six months before I finished my degree, I uh, left. I, um, I came back to Mexico. My dad was sick also. And after that, I never went back to Boston to finish my um, we'll talk more about why I left, um, the, tr like, 
like the reality is that I left because I went into treatment for uh, rehab for drinking and it was just getting out of hand and um, and then my dad was sick so uh, I just didn't go back to school and then I was like well my parents were like really like oh you should have like at least some kind of degree you know just just to have a diploma and I was like, all right, I'll study something that I like. So I did um, health coach school, whatever you call it, um, online, uh, IAN, which is Institute of Integrative Nutrition uh, in New York. But I did it from here, from Mexico. So it was perfect. And I feel like I'm going wild with this brow. And I always said I wanted to keep my natural brow. Well, it is kind of like my natural brow. It's the shape that it's going. All right, let's leave the brows alone. Just a tiny bit more here. All right, so that's the reality of why I didn't finish school. And I used to be super ashamed of like, all my friends went to really good, um, colleges like i had friends from like different colleges i'm not just like gonna name them all but i felt kind of like a loser at some point like in a sense that i felt like i wasn't doing anything right with my life um and yeah i studied to be a health coach but i don't want to be a health coach i would like to do it on the side but what really like i'm passionate about is I was very passionate about health and wellness and food and all that because I also suffered from an eating disorder back in the day when I was like 15. I'm 30 now. Um, I'm going to use the Just Browsing Brush and Styling Mousse in the shade Light Brown. I hope. Oh, this is a tiny, tiny wand. Cute. And I just kind of felt like um, all my friends were doing something like important with their lives. And I was just like, here in Mexico, well, you know what? Now I do know why I was here and why it was important that I was here. I was with my dad and that is the most important job that I could have had. And I'm not saying job in a bad way. I'm just saying like, my mission at that moment was to be with my dad who was sick and i am so grateful that i got to spend so much time with him i will never regret that so if that means me not having a degree i don't care because either way um i didn't want to like i don't see myself working a nine to five job um unless i had to and that's pretty much why I started my YouTube channel because I enjoy doing this and I want to do something that I enjoy every day. You know, if you hate your job, do everything what you can to, I know you can't leave your job just like that. Like I know it's hard, not everyone can, but at least on the side, if you have any time, do something that you're passionate about and that you love. I just feel that it's so fulfilling. Like ever since I started my YouTube channel, I just feel like I'm doing something for myself and for others and it just feels great. This is the pink chocolate palette. I'm like getting super deep. This is like the back side, which is so cool because this is the front side. I'm getting so deep in, the, in this video, but there's so much to talk about you guys. And um, some people might think I am nuts for opening up about um, these things on YouTube. This is the color um, spectrum of the palette. I like that it says like for beginners, like, you know, like put the shade one here. So we're going to follow what this says. Shade one. Well, I don't understand what they mean, mean but yeah. Um, do you understand what it says? I don't, but I'm assuming it's the same as always. Just do the lighter all over the lid and whatever. You got me. So... Mm, the cool thing about YouTube is that most people, I mean the few people who watch me, you know, because I'm just starting and I'm a small YouTube channel, uh, but I feel like the people who watch me don't know me 
and the ones who do don't judge me for this for like my story and like opening up about my life and i don't want people in my life who judge me to be honest it's tiring i don't owe anything to anyone and nobody owes me anything so i am like done with people who judge me not that I was like bullied or, or anything, like nobody ever said anything to my face. But um, you can tell when people are like, I don't know, just judgy in general. Um, but I'm like so over that, you know, I don't really care. I don't give a crap about what people think of me anymore. Um, I used to care about my dad thinking I was a good daughter and not in the sense of like me being an angel. No, just a good daughter lasting like I was there for him. Uh, I cared about those things. I care about being a good sister. I care about being a good friend. Um, do I care about like what people think of the way I look anymore or what I've done, decided to do with my life? No, I, I don't care anymore. I barely ever go on Instagram I feel like social media can be so good, but can be also so toxic. And it's all about what you decide to watch. Um, some people might argue, this is like a really nice light pink shade. I'm gonna add like this little darker shade, whatever. I'm mostly talking on this in this video, but it's, it's good that I'm like, mm, flowing and I'm sure this video okay it's 26 minutes long it's not that crazy but um oh, I forgot where I was going sorry I forgot where I was going but um oh yeah I was talking about social media and how like you social media will throw at you what you're kind of searching and what you're like paying attention to so yeah there's times that it will show you things that might not make you feel good but if you just go on social media and try to look at things that don't make you feel like your life is not good enough or you're not good enough or comparing yourself to people who seem to have the perfect life if you choose not to go on those kind of pages and look at that kind of content it will stop throwing you that kind of content because it doesn't throw me that kind of content anymore. I don't like stalk people on Instagram to look at their awesome lives. Like I love watching YouTubers, but I am picky about the YouTubers that I watch because whatever you're watching all day and thinking all day and who you like make connections with, even if you don't talk to them, like who you decide to invest your time in, will really affect your character like who you are what you think of yourself and what like you think of the world in general i'm gonna add a little bit of this brownie shade on my crease again it's a very light brown this palette is not very pigmented and i am all in it for it because there's days that i just want like a super light oh, i keep leaning all the way to this side there's days that I want like a super, super light eye color. Like sometimes I'll just add like the same blush on my eye, like blush and bronzer on my eyes and call it a day. Um, like very monochromatic looks. I love doing that just because it's so easy and I just find that it looks so effortless and cute. Um, but yeah, you guys, I want this channel or this small community, whatever it turns into, I was like, I'm gonna do YouTube for a year and see what happens, see if I love it, but I really wanna give it my all for a year. Um, seems like a lot now that I've started and I'm like, okay, I can't back up anymore. Sorry, my nose is like, <laughs> sorry. Um, yeah, I can't, I can't really back up because I'm doing this for myself. Um, I've invested, money in this like as in like i already have a bunch of makeup that i want to review and it's not about the money to be honest i just really want to do something in my life that i feel like 
I'm doing it for myself because I want to do it and for nobody else. I want to do it for those of you guys out there who are also passionate about the same things. And even if you don't like makeup, if you just like to hear someone talk like a parrot and not shut up like I do, if you just want to like chill, like I just want my channel to be like, I'm not an expert makeup artist or anything. So my channel will most likely be about like getting along with you guys and chilling and talking and like having conversations like in the comments. If you leave down a comment, I will respond to you for sure. Um, I want people to feel less lonely when they watch my chat my videos like maybe if you're feeling lonely or bored or whatever if i can be of any help um that will be my best pay um being of any help to anyone that will mean that i'm like doing what i want to do you know um to me it's not about the numbers i know i'm sure a lot of people say that but I'm sure you can tell that I'm invested in this because I upload a lot and even with little with a little amount of followers I do it because um each and every person that follows me or watches my videos matters to me a lot like even if I don't know you guys you guys matter to me because you're the reason also why I'm doing this if nobody was watching me at all then this would be pointless, but even if I have a few people watching me, that means the world to me. That means I can keep doing something that is fun to me. Wow, I was going for a light eye look and that did not happen. So I'm gonna, this is like, the oh, this is a little sponge tip. The easiest, not even a trick, like the easiest thing in the game to do to just like clean out your act is do a little straight line and just go in with your sponge. Straighten it up. You can raise it as much as you want or like just keep it low. Um, there we go. Okay, yeah. And now I just go in with like a tiny bit of bronzer just so that this area is not too pale because I do like adding bronzer on that area on my temples anyways. So I just go in and add a little bronzer here. I don't like the separation of the shadow and then just like this area being white and this like I just like things to kind of flow. So I go even like inside my eye and then the other side. There we go. A little bit of bronzer on my nose. That was a lot of bronzer on my nose. Anyways. That was a lot of bronzer on my nose, for sure. I need more blush. Because the crazier your eye look is, the more you add on your eyes, to me, the more blush I need. So that's what happens. And like, honestly, I wasn't trying to get like such a dark eye look, but I want to use all the colors in the palette. And this is what you get with that little palette, just like a brownie, mauve kind of color. Mm, I like it. It's a cute palette. It reminds me of the Natasha Denona small little palettes. It works. Just as well, to be honest, like, it's a good palette. Good little palette to keep in your purse and travel. I don't like that they got dirty so easily, but whatever. Like, the Patrick Tab stuff also gets dirty and stuff. So, there's there's a lot of products that get dirty like that. Um, Maybe when I add highlighter, my nose will look more normal. Oh my god, what is with my nose in these videos? I'm gonna use the highlighter stick. This is the Chubby Stick Sculpting Highlight in the shade I have no idea. Shade and Illuminate. I don't know if I should add it straight. Ooh, it is highlighty. 
my broken nail. Yeah, it broke like the day after I got my nails done. I already talked about this, but whatever. I hate having like a broken nail or or like just like uh, my hands looking ugly overall. Like I I had that's like one of my pet peeves. Like I just love it when my hands are perfectly done and manicured. Um, but that's just me, you guys. Nothing wrong with not having a manicure on. That is just what I like. So I like this highlight a lot. I feel like it's very potent without glitter. It's definitely a potent highlighter, but you cannot see like any, any, any chunks of glitter. So I'm gonna add more. Like on my daily, on my day to day, like I probably wouldn't add this much shadow, this much, um, highlighter but i kind of want to like build it up so you guys can see the thing with cream uh with cream highlighters is that it kind of erases a little bit of your blush so i just go back in with the blush brush <laughs> with a blush brush and darken it up but you can still see the radiance on the skin you know what i mean yeah like that's what happens with liquids or creams like um it makes your blush kind of disappear in that area um but all you have to do is like pass by with because it does lighten up that area anyways since the color is lighter than the blush obviously but all you have to do is go back in with your blush brush and you're good to go i feel like i went in too high with my blush over like over here but it's fine, whatever, who cares? I'm gonna do my nose. Let's see if we can make my nose look more like my real nose on camera. Uh, all right. Kind of, whatever, who cares? Always on the Cupid, Cupid's bow. Is it Cupid's bow? Cupid's bow. Yeah, Cupid's bow. Um, just a tiny bit on the tip. Like, I already added way too much. Like, I wouldn't go out with my nose like this. Because if you see it from up close, that is a lot of highlighter on my face everywhere. But I kind of just want to show you guys where you can go with this, like, makeup. Like, how, like... If you like them a lot, like how far you can go with it. That's what I was trying to say. Uh, I'm just going to blend here the edges a little bit. Because I'm like, I'm not really paying attention to how I'm doing my makeup too much. So it's not perfect. Um, but I just want you guys to enjoy the video. Not for you guys to be amazed by my makeup skills. So I feel like I need a little bit more brow gel. So I'm going to add a little bit more brow gel if this allows me to because sometimes it dries up and oh uh oh yeah this is definitely turning my brows into a different color and i should have not done that oh god oh lordy lord okay i definitely should have just gone with the pencil instead of this brow setting gel. For some reason, I thought it hadn't set my brows. It does set your brows. Doesn't add a lot of color, which is good. Um, but now I need to fix this, because this is looking odd. Now this looks super weird. Oh my God. Okay, I'm just trying to follow back up my regular brow shape that I ruined just now. And it's looking worse the more I touch it. Okay, okay. 
this always happens you guys when i'm going out somewhere like let's say i have like a wedding or a party or whatever i stopped playing with makeup the day that i'm going to an event because every time i had an event like it was christmas or a wedding or whatever that was the exact day that i was like oh let me do this like new eye look or this exciting new makeup that i just got and um that is the worst idea stick to what you know how to do when you have an event don't play around with makeup on those days it's not it's probably not gonna end well i i say it from experience i'm cleaning this up from experience um playing with makeup on the day that you have an event worst idea ever unless you're really good really skilled and you know how to do everything with makeup don't play with makeup on those days you have every other single day to play with makeup and now i'm just gonna powder my face a little bit before i add eyeshadow if i can get this open yes i can I am picky about my powders. I'm hoping this is a good one just so that it doesn't stay sitting there on. It's a little yellow. It's called the Clinique 20 Invisible Blend. I tried to get mine either in a light rosy shade, maybe a yellowish one, but most of the time if there's an invisible or a clear one, I will stick to that. uh mostly because i don't like adding layers like obviously if the powder has some color it will add like a layer of makeup to your skin you know like it will look like you have a little bit more makeup on and that's what i'm usually trying to avoid so i never set this area i just set like i just went like this i know but i try not to set the area where i added the highlighter just to like keep that area of the face glowy i only do the sides of my nose not this area but i do my forehead um yeah i just kind of go with what i feel that day like whatever i feel like my face is missing or has too much of and now um Mm, what am I missing? Oh, okay. I have two little eye eyelash. Yeah, why why am I forgetting these things? Two eyelash mascaras. This is the lash power mascara and this is a high impact mascara. So I'm gonna try both and see which one I like better and let you guys know. Just in case you're getting one of them, you'll know which one you might like better. But I wanna do my lips first and i'm looking for whoops well i can't find the other lipsticks oh yes i have three lipsticks i'll swatch them for you guys this is a nude pop i love watching swatches before i decide to buy like a lipstick or something because sometimes the pictures are so deceiving this nude pop i don't think i'm gonna like too much mm -mm. too orangey like well i don't know let's see let's see it's not orangey like peachy but all right this is um 14 plum pop a little too purple i'm picky about my lipsticks even though i have way too many i don't need all of them but i'm picky i like brownie pinky shades i feel like this is the one that i'm gonna like this is romanced this is the even better pop lip color foundation yeah it says foundation weird and this ones are the lip color primer rouge intense and base don't know the difference you guys okay so the def this is definitely my kind of color so i'm gonna go with that one i don't have a lip liner so i'm just gonna go with the flow and try to make my lips look even okay <sighs> my lips let me well, my lips look dry it doesn't matter how much crap i add to my lips like my lip mask all this stuff that i have for my lips 
they look dry and that's because I turn on the heater because I'm always cold and the heater makes your skin dry. So I, I left my humidifier in Miami. Who needs a humidifier in Miami? Well, I left mine there because it didn't fit in my luggage that I was carrying, like all the stuff that I got. Um, so I need to either bring it or buy one for here because I'm sure the humidifier will help my skin not get so dry. My skin doesn't get dry because I just do like too much stuff for it to not get dry. But I'm like, you can't be adding lip masks all day because that's so uncomfortable, you know, like you got me. I just have dry lips because of the heater and there's not much I can do. I'm just gonna get a humidifier, yeah. So this is the Lash Power Mascara and this is the High Impact Mascara. So I'm gonna use the, let me see which spoolie I like more. I'll show them to you guys so you can see. The bottom one is the High Impact, the top one is the Lash Power and I feel like I have no idea which one I'm gonna like more. Um, let's try the high impact on this side. All right. One thing that I'm always like picky about with mascaras is that they actually grip my lashes and add product because sometimes either it's too fluffy or to whatever that it just won't grip to the lashes and it won't add product to the whole lash you know what i mean but this is actually gripping onto the lashes i feel like it's looking great i was not expecting to like this tiny little these are obviously not the full-sized ones but i was not expecting to like care about it too much but it's actually separating my lashes really nicely i think it's looking cute uh oh that hair that hair ah. <sighs> oh god i'm so picky with some things anyways this is one of the mascaras which in my opinion if you're not into tubing mascaras like i am this works perfectly fine, like, oh god, I shouldn't get this close to the camera, that's scary. Anyways, that's what it, my eyelashes look like, and I think this is a great mascara. I don't know if it flakes or smudges, I'm gonna add some to the bottom lashes because I already saw that it works. So bottom lashes, here we go. Mm-hmm. It's also good for bottom lashes. You know how there are some brushes that are just horrible that like, I hate those brushes that like are too spiky and they just like stab my eye and then my eye is watery. Like, oh, those drive me crazy. I don't know how people love those brushes. I guess I'm just like not made for those. But this is a tiny brush. This is the other mascara, which is the Lash Power Mascara. Mm. Okay, this is adding more product than the last one. Like the brush just adds more product. Mm -hmm. I don't know which one I like better, but I think the other one wins. Yeah, this spoolie is like not really grabbing onto the lashes as well as the other one. So in my opinion, the other one is better. I thought I was gonna like the smaller spoolie one because I'm not into huge spoolies, but I don't think the other one was too big for it to bother me. But this one, I mean, the lashes look okay. It's because the light doesn't let you guys see my lashes well. Um, the lashes look okay, but I'm definitely more into the other mascara. Um, if you guys are looking for a clinic mascara, I think this one looks better. Um, can you guys, like, now that I'm, like, kind of covering, just look at this area. Um, yeah. 
You guys can probably tell which side looks better, but maybe you like the thinner brush, doesn't matter. So you guys, um, I think that is it for today. Maybe I should let my hair down. No, no, let's leave the hair up today. Yeah, let's leave the hair up today. Thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. It means the world to me when you subscribe or leave a comment or like my videos. I just um, feel so grateful to be able to be doing this finally after so many years of wanting to do this. And I just hope you guys have fun here and chill. Like have me in the background while you're like cleaning up your room and folding clothes. Like it doesn't matter what you use me for, you know, as long as um, you just have a good time here. That's all I want. And I wish you guys all the best and I will see you tomorrow on my next video. Take care.